Let's say you're starting your game and you're getting .nnl errors. There's a prompt in your screen and you want to solve this problem, can't find it on the internet and there are many doubted links and you don't know what to do. Probably the reason why you're clicking on this video. Let me show you how to fix those .dnnl errors and get rid of them. The first thing you do is go down in the description and then go to this page. Then you will see download. Just click on it. And then you will download DirectX and use your runtime weapon installer. Very useful. You're going to be installing a lot of DirectX files you're going to need for all the games. Most games support DirectX because it is very global and it is where it's running on to run the graphics and all. But hey, here you go. I can reopen open it because I have free download manager. But let's click here on open and click on yes by accepting to install this program. Well, it's not really a program. It's just going to install all the requirements you're going to need for dot and now errors. Let's click here on accept agreement. You can read it if you want, but it's not really needed unless you are scared Microsoft owns you. But hey, yeah, Google is also not great. But hey, let's click on next. You don't want to install a Bing bar. Come on, really? Just don't deselect it. Click on next. There you go. It's already initializing. And we're going to be installing all the .dnl we need. But there could be a possibility that your game is still going to give you some errors. Make sure you update your PC. Let's go here and type for check for updates. Discord's going to appear there. But just click here on settings and click for check for updates. Right now, I just have to open it and then it's going to check for me. But you probably need to click your check for updates. And it's going to check the updates for you. Hey, you have already been updated, right? No. Probably not. Let's go to advanced options and then scroll down and find optional updates. Zero available. Yeah, it's because I update my system. Let's click here. I find options. But if you do, select them by the check mark and click on download and install. You will probably be getting back here. It's going to check for updates. Going to install everything you need. While doing that, your direct X is finished. Hey, you can click on finish. It's done. You can probably be playing your games right now or first restart your system i'm the it ta guy telling you this so um give credit to me please but hey restart your system come back if it doesn't work come back to this video and now go go, go to google google.com greatest search engine ever let's go your dnl error let's say you have a vs redist error i don't really know um here you go ms vcp 140 dnl Ugh, i don't even know this one you probably want to be typing this, your uh, own DOL you need, and .dnnl, probably. Here, we have DOL and on dash files.com. Let's click here on free download. This is a website I really recommend. It always works for me. And you just have to install it by scrolling down here. And I'm finding the first one. This one is fine. Let's click on download. And it will go to your downloads folder or it's downloading right now. Then it's probably in your downloads folder right here. You just have to click on extract all, there you go. And after doing this, we're just gonna clear your PC. Please clear your downloads folder. I know it's probably messy, but hey, it's your problem, not mine. But hey, <laughs> MS VCP 140, we got it right here. You can read this, but it's really just agreements and all. Hey, you downloaded here, ah, get out of here. You don't need that. Here you have the DOL you need. Probably the first prompt you're getting and it could be multiple after this one. The first thing you do is just go to your game directory and copy paste it there. If that doesn't work, make sure you get it again, copy paste it and follow my steps. Go to your C drive. This is probably the one with the Windows logo on it. Let's go there. After doing this, click on Windows. This is going to be a scary place, so pay attention. Make sure you scroll down and search for system. I mean, system32. But what you can also do is just press S by selecting once and then you should be able to find everything with S and now we should be able to find system 32. Double click on it, open this and make sure you don't alter anything here because you're just going to be drag and dropping control V your file. Hey, it already exists. Probably means you don't need it. So I would assume your game is already running and working. If it's not, hey, Steam users, here you go. Make sure you check your game file integrity. This is the files that the game comes with. And nine out of 10 times, you're going to get a prompt where you're going to need to be installing 
MS Redist, Microsoft Visual Packaging, I don't know. DirectX, you're going to be needing this. Make sure you download these, you accept them, you continue. Let's go here to Phasophobia. I'm pretty sure it doesn't need it. Eurotrack, I've never had the problem. Probably GTA or something, right? There you go, GTA. Sometimes that's the problem. Let's go to Properties. Right click, Properties. Then go to... Did I really just forget? Ah, they changed the game. Oh yeah, I don't have to game download it. Head smack. Okay, let's go back to Fasmo and show it again. Here we have installed files and here you can see multiple options. Verify integrity of game files. Click on this one and you will be rechecking the game if you have everything or not. And if it doesn't work, reinstall your game. You can right click on it to manage, uninstall, download your game again, install all the DirectX and Microsoft Visual packages. You know the MS Redist uh, thing, the VS Redist. I don't know, they're like a million right now. 2015, 2019, 2022. You can get scary crazy of this. Here you go. Um, yeah, you're probably going to get those when you're downloading a game. And if you're not, they're specific per game. I'm not getting into that right now. It's pretty a lot of installs. But I would really assume that your game is running right now. If it's not, what is happening? Really, I've shown you everything in this video how to solve your .dnl error. You know, I mean, hey, nah, I don't know. It's probably because you still miss some packages and you need to just contact the team itself, the probably the game developers. Uh, most games should be installing the correct packages to the correct drivers you need. And I've shown you how to do it, but for the rest, yeah, there's all, yeah, it should be working. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe right now because we're trying to hit at least 2,500 subscribers at the beginning of next year. You know, I mean, this year's ending, <laughs> sadly. But another thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like down below. So I know that this video has to be recommended more to people. I can create more content about it and I can help you more. Comment down below. I want to see, um, yeah, uh, how you solve the problem. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.